let's try again. <laughs> now, let's do the BR218 introduction. Okay. Let's buy it. Start. Ooh. Now, they do warn that it might be a bit pox because uh, it's a beta. And to not expect the final product. Hmm. Let's see how it goes. The screenshots look kind of pretty. This is as far as I got last time when it crashed. So how to play. Help. Okay. So reduce thrust. Repeat until thrust is fully retracted. And I think we just crashed. One more time. One more time. And I'll bet you it'll play the uh, copyright strike music. Yep, there it goes. Let's just uh, very quickly get into the settings and get rid of that. Actually, I want to bring this one down. It's user interface volume I want to bring down, not master volume. All right, so we couldn't do that thing we wanted to do. So let's try something else. Try a different journey. We'll just try this one. Let's just see what happens. We'll just buy this. Forget about the introduction. Just start. Let's see if we actually get into a train this time. That would be nice. Okay. Good. Today your shift begins at Duran Station. Alright. How do I get rid of that crap? We've gotten into a train. We're in a train. We are in a train. But how do I get rid of this? Okay. I don't want the help. I can't use my mouse to move around. What about escape? Ah, okay, we're in a train. All right, it's... Uh... Oh, God, people are going to cream themselves over this. It's got the timetable... Mouse is very sensitive. It's got some gauges. They appear to be active. That's cool. Hmm. Okay. What do we do with it? Diesel start stop. So, E. It's E and Q, isn't it? Uh huh. Sure. There must be something else we have to do first. Doors. Alarm. Locomotive brake. Can't select stuff. Uh, so if I put... That's just train brake. So the key's already in. Dynamic brake. Right. Start diesel. Press and hold P for one second. Oh, maybe I should have just read stuff. Something's happening. Right doors press Y. So where are we? We're in a platform. Y. Okay. Oh, it jiggles. It jiggles. So it's obviously a tap changer, isn't it? When boarding finishes, close the right door, press Y. How do I know? Complete passenger boarding. Okay. Let's go outside. Ugh! That's loud. That's uh, remarkably loud. Hmm? Okay, I'm back inside. Release from PZB program, press PZB key, end. Well, I assume it's just... Yeah, look at that, it's like the train simulator one. It's just like train sim world keys. Stop at Duran. Duran. Alright. Let's finish with the right doors. Let's release the independent brake. So the train brake's clearly not applied. We're just sitting there on the Indy. Control your thrust. Hmm. Pelvic. 
So I'm guessing it's got PZB on by default or it wouldn't have told me about PZB. Quite frankly, I think the HUD sucks, so um, it's very busy and it's all in your face. I do like the map with its gradients and its signals. I do appreciate that. That's a good thing. But, uh, ooh, it's a, it's a busy HUD. I hope you can... Yeah, I hope they uh, consolidate this a little. We open windows? Mm, doesn't look like it. I've got the... Uh, can you get up and walk around? Mm, yes, apparently. There's keys to move around. Oh, I see. You're just sliding around. So no, you can't actually get up and move around. We just went inside the engine there. Hmm. Cifa. I don't even have Cifa turned on. Zed. Okay. I turned Cifa off. In the, in the bloody settings. Well. Alright, so it's not a walk around thing. You're just sitting around. All right, let's get some fang into it. The uh, bolts and amps gauges don't work over there. But it does have a Buller. I mean, people are going to positively cream themselves over having a Buller. They really will, if it works. Oh, we'd better get some more speed into this thing or we're not going to get far. Does that mean I'm approaching a red signal? Surely not. Oh, the yellow dot's me. Okay, that shows my progress. Alright. I'm two minutes late already. I've got maximum balls. We're balls to the wall. Let's start the train brake training. If you don't need it, press semicolon. Well, no, I'm not going to set the thrust to zero. Don't want any brakes. Just piss off. How do I know when the next station is? So that's... Is that eight kilometres away? I guess. And the next stop's Durin. We go through Lengawi. So speed limit's 160. We're still only doing 93 even though I've got maximum thrust on. Maximum thrust. Brake gauges seem to do things. She's a slow old girl, this diesel. I'm trying to look around the HUD. So I can see distance to the next signal, which is fine. And I can... Why didn't they use Q instead of C? And I can see the distance to the next speed limit. And I can see my gradients. But what I can't see is my stations. So I'm supposed to be at Durin at 9.03, but it's 9.06 now. But I can't tell how far away Durin actually is. Or was that where I was? No, I'm going late. Yeah, that's right. I was at Durin, and I left two minutes late. Okay, right, right. So it's six kilometres to Langui. Now it makes sense. Okay. And then I'm going to be stopping at Eschweiler Hochbahnhof, which is my next stop. Or is it my next stop? I don't know. Maybe Stolberg is my next stop. Let's have a look outside. Ugh. That is so loud. Uh, yeah. uh, there's not a lot of world. Not a lot of world at all. It, um, it ends rather quickly. Okay, so let's, uh, let's, let's get down near the train then. I'm staying in here, it's too loud out there. It really is. We're almost up to 120 kilometers an hour. Speedo's very uh, fuzzy wuzzy. Actually, you know, we are going to go outside. I need to know. Oh, God, we've got out of the world. Do the wheels go. Uh, wheels do go round. Okay. Sorry, I had to look, because lots of Unity games, they don't. 
Where's the horn? Ooh. Somehow I've stuck a tuber in my train. Hmm. Reversa. C for reset. I don't know what that is. Left doors close, right doors close. I'm confused because it says E and Q. But they don't do anything. E, PZB acknowledge. It doesn't do anything. Speed's 115. Going uphill, that's nice. BMAX 40. Oh, these are the PZB lights. Motor malfunction is lit up. What's your major malfunction? And this is the ho ho button. You press that, you get a ho ho. Mm. Switches, most of which don't work. Instrument lights on and off. But you can't use your mouse to activate anything, and when you're highlighting, it looks like you're meant to be able to press E and Q, but you can't. It doesn't work. Ooh. It's a bit janky. Uh, no gauges working up there. These switches don't work. Uh, can you do visors? No. Uh, phone? No. Okay. Next limit's 160. It looks okay. There's plenty of graffiti. The graffiti's a bit varied. It doesn't look too bad down close to the train, but if you go up in the air, it's a bit... Uh, a little sparse, shall we say. Shall we horn? I thought I turned on seeing traffic on things, but I don't see anything, so I guess that's not implemented yet. Maybe we're the only train here. Lighting's... And okay. It's not good. Not bad. It's okay. Track shadows running out in front of the tracks. Why? Everybody train game does this. Every single one of them. Get rid of the pissy track shadows. They don't look good. And the scenery is running out very far in front of me, and I did set everything to ultra. I'm not sure if it kept those settings after I crashed, though, so maybe it didn't. But if this is ultra, hmm. Things inside the cab are. And they're okay, they're sort of a little bit fuzzy. It's like everything's moving all the time. Okay. Now we've been through Langawihi. We're going to Eschweiler HBF, Hochbahnhof. Five point kilometers. Am I supposed to I am supposed to stop at Eschweiler Hochbahnhof. So we'll do that. Ooh. Okay, we can see a station on the map now. It's all the way at the top of the hill. The moving map is uh reminiscent of trains and train simulator classic. My independent brake appears to have uh, moved, but I don't think my brakes are on. No, brake gauges. Well, that says it's 5 bar, but it says 0. And that says it's 8.3 bar, which it is, but what about the other one? Brake cylinder pressure is 0. Yes, that's about right. I think this thing has some potential, like all early access games, I'm not going to offer a review comment, but there's, I think it's got a way to go to catch up with its uh, competition. But it's not awful. Too bad. I reckon if you had high-low sounds, you could probably pay the, uh, oh, what's the name of the movie? The one where they had the big spaceship. Close Encounters, that was it. Bop, 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 bop. That'll get a copyright strike, you watch. Hmm.
Looks like it's got some kind of suspension model. It's jiggling around like crazy. Probably a bit much. Need some hysteresis on that. Oh, go underneath. We're under the diesel. to stop soon. Ooh, shit. Much brakes, much brakes, much brakes, much brakes. Give me all the brakes. Give me all the brakes. Everything, everything. And we're not stopping at this station. Well, we just Nebworth our first station in this game. I was too busy looking at underneath. I don't want to release the apprentice brake. Go away. Can I go back? No. Looks like I can't go back. It looks like it's just skipped Eschweiler Ockbahnhof. Hmm. You know what? Let's just let the passengers out here. <laughs> oh dear. Alright. Let's rock. Rust is not connected. This is clearly a porn movie. Okay. That'd be a great name for a porn movie, actually. Connect your thrust. Okay, we're giving it all the balls. Balls to the wall. Feel the power. Some strange things going on in the textures when shadows come over. Stolberg's not far away, so perhaps I should actually pay attention. Instead of going looking underneath the carriage. Hmm. So if you press the right button, it zooms in. Oh, look. Look. Oh no, I thought the buttons were active when you zoom in, but they're not. Okay. Sifa. Hmm. Hmm. I think it's got some potential. There's some anti-aliasing weirdness happening out in front of the train there too. Look at that. Some Moya patterns. They're always a problem in moving graphics. Ooh, that track looks like real track. It's all wonky. I like it. The weird shadow running out in front of the train appears to have disappeared. So maybe that process has died, but the vegetation's still running out in front of us. That could be a little further away. It's rather bright out there, isn't it? Maybe the shadows got left behind at that station we were supposed to stop at. That would be funny. We're pretty close, aren't we? Maybe I should start slowing down. What do you think? Sifa. Alright, let's start slowing down. I have disconnected the thrust. Now let's start doing some brakes. A little bit of break. So it's graduated braking. Brake cylinder pressure one bar. That's not a lot, but you know, it's bringing our speed down. But I think I might want some, like a lot more. It's a nifty little display down on the bottom there, shows the braking through the train. I kind of like that. Here's our station, Stolberg. I might be at maximum braking, and I think we're actually going to stop in this station. We might even have to release the brakes. Ooh, releasing is very slow. Like it should be. Wait a moment before increasing thrust. Don't tell me to do it, and then tell me to wait. Oh, okay. Now we can do it? No. No. 
No. My thrust is being rejected. Now? No. Now? No. The brakes are all the way off, aren't they? Ah. Now? Well, I can make the engine go faster. It am not allowed to drive. Can I drive, please? So it just says... Oh, oh, it's doing it now. I think. Yeah, it is. Still said wait a moment, but now it's doing it. You appear to have power. I only want to go 200 metres, though. So we can stop at Stolberg. Alright. We have disconnected the thrust. You hear that, mothership? The thrust is disconnected. Mm. 120 metres to go. Eighty. That sign wasn't even the same name as the station. Alright, let's put some brakes on. I do kind of like that braking display because it shows the gradients that happen in braking quite nicely. We have arrived. It's loud. Okay, doors are open. Oops. It's very flitty. So there is graphics inside, so there, there's... I guess there's hope that this might be a walk-around game at some point. You know, the carriages are making this loud sound like they're travelling. So the travelling sound doesn't stop. They make that all the time. Oh, well, we've come out of there. I guess we finished. Completed the scenario. I got a penalty of 1170 because I was naughty in Nibworth's station. Hmm... Well, okay, look, it's got potential. Did it immerse me? No. Was it interesting? Yeah, kind of. It's got a couple of interesting features. I really don't like the HUD. It's colourful, it's bright, it's in your face, it's bloody annoying, it's ruining the immersion. Tone it down. Apart from that, I lost a lot of money. Hmm. I did. Let's just have a look at some... Uh, do we look at settings? No, you can look at settings. Go download it yourself. Alrighty. I think it's got potential. It could be an interesting game one day. It's not right now. Alright. Have fun, folks. See you later. Pusscat says, hmm, let's see. Hmm, sad Pusscat. Alright. Bye. <laughs>